Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's it's a milk carton. I haven't actually made a milk carton for quite a few months now, um, but it's just a darling little box. This one is a 2468, so it's two, cent two centimetres, not it's two inches. Um, so you score it 2468 um, or a 5, 10, 15, 20 box, but it's two by two inches that way, five by five centimetres, and it's just lovely. Now, this one I made using... I want to say Poetic Expressions designer series paper and the Thoughtful Expressions stamp set and die. Um, the Poetic Expressions paper is retiring, so I've already taken that off my shelves. <laughs> so it's just like, well, apparently I'm not using that. Oh, hello, Sorrel. Um, and the, yeah, the Thoughtful Expressions stamp set is carrying over, not the dies. But I thought, let's change it up and do something different. So... I had, <laughs> I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, it's here. I have, oh, so I'll go. Um, some designer series paper here. This is the Nature Sweetness paper and it's gold and it's got a darling little flower on it, very similar to this one. So we're gonna make a nice shimmery pretty box, but I'm going to use the fluffiest friend. So it's just amused me that Sorrel has got on the desk. This is an online exclusive, so um, go into the description bar below and you'll find a link to the online, online exclusives and this stamp set which comes with dies and I want to do some blends work and I'm going to use the cat now <laughs> I haven't used the cat so far I don't know why it popped into my head but if you are a fan of an animated movie and you know the film Secret Life of Pets she has this cat has a facial expression, expression even, not dissimilar to Cleo from Secret Life of Pets. It's not exactly the same. The attitude was there. Right, let me get this on a block. So I want to do some blends work on this, which means I need, I need, I want my ink to draw. So I'm gonna go with Memento which is the one that you use with um, blends, with alcohol markers. So I'm going to get that on there. And then I didn't prep my cut and emboss machine, which was a bit dippy. should have got that out, but I didn't. I've been having, I haven't had a move around at all in my office. Um, but obviously where I've been clearing stuff out, um, I've been moving bits around, so mini cut and emboss machine, plate one, plate two, where's my fabulous purple tape? It's here. I'm just going to stick that on my hand for a second, because actually I need to get the cat dye out. Um, okay. That clearly is not the cat dye. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> that would be for the beaver up here. Oh, please tell me there is a cat one. Who's that one? <laughs> okay. That would be this one. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Right. Let's get that on there. Oh, I've just stuck it to my fingers and wibbled it. Let's try again. Right. And then we get my third plate here. So that's the regular base plate, a clear plate, cardstock, die, tape to hold it in place, and then a clear plate on top. Okay, alright, let me put all these. Don't worry, my bin gone. Oh, it's behind me. Put these dies away so I don't lose them. And then I will start building the box. And I'll tell you a funny story about last Monday's video. <laughs> okay, piece of paper that is six by eight and a half inches. So you want you want it landscape. So you want if you've got a pattern that's obvious and mine goes up, um, you want the longer side that way. Um, which is 21 by 15 centimetres. And so on the long side, as I said before, you're scoring it at 2468 
or in metric 5, 10, 15 and 20. Super simple. And then on the short side, two inches, four inches, flip it over and score it at five and a half, which in metric you're scoring at five and ten, turning it over and scoring it at 13. Oh, just walloped my desk. Right, let's get a bone folder. Right, so last Monday, last Monday I was still in Rotterdam. Um, I stopped on an extra night and came home on Monday afternoon which was lovely because there were some other demonstrators who did the same as well as um, one of the lovely ladies from my team. So it was just nice and we just had a chill out. But Monday morning, and I'd obviously got my videos for, Fried, for the uh, Friday the 15th and Monday the 18th. I've got them scheduled and um, about quarter past seven in the morning or quarter past quarter past eight local time, I think it was. I'm not sure, whatever it was, local time. I started getting messages. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, your video is still on. And I'd finished my video tutorial and then you had three and a half minutes of me taking pictures of the project from my phone. That <laughs> was on there. I was like, oh no. Thankfully I didn't say or do anything silly. That's all burnished. Um, I'm just going to nick a little bit off the top there, remove the rectangle and then cut straight up though. So yeah, I didn't say or do anything silly, um, thankfully, but I was, went into minor panic mode of, oh no, there's three minutes of, of nonsense. So yeah, I managed to delete it. I didn't know that I was gonna be able to, so I thought I need to do that off a desktop PC, but I must be able to do it from my phone. There are people who run their businesses from phones and iPads and tablet PCs and stuff, so. Surely. So yes, eventually I did find a way to do it. So <laughs> minor panic. So if you saw that and it was, I think it was up there for about an hour or so before I could work out how to take off, you know, cut it down those three minutes of me having a photo shoot. <laughs> then that, yeah. Anyway, right. So I have scored all of that. I've put tape there and cut up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it round line it up so I'm going to make this my back fold in the two sides and the back and then pop some more tape on um, I am um, <laughs> this is a milk carton and I'm, I'm sure my lovely fan who hates milk cartons is going to leave a comment because every time I do a milk carton like I say I haven't done one for a few months I get a sarcastic comment <laughs> It's okay, I've got about 1,800 other videos you can watch. And while it might look like a milk carton, it's not a milk carton, it's a gift box. Um, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Right, oh, I should probably do a gold. Oh, have I got, I don't think I've got any gold binder clips. Ooh, have I? Oh, yes, I have. I have one here. Little gold binder clip on the top. Um, I don't mind if people are don't love everything I make there is something for everybody that's the hope right what color are we going to do this little kitty I'm kind of inclined to go the Cleo look where is she Chloe not Cleo Chloe so she's gray and she's got little stripes and she's um yeah she's got a little pink inside her ear so I am inclined to sort of head in that direction that's gray granite that is not what I wanted I wanted the smoky slate hair Smoky slate, smoky slate. Definitely going to give her a little bit of pink. Is this a new pink? No, that's bubble bath. So, a little bit of pink inside her ears and on her nose. And I'm going to go the darker one for the flower that she's carrying. Probably ought to use the thin end, but it's okay. And I'm just sort of following the the shading that the stamp set or the stamped image is giving me. And then I'm going to go over with the lighter colour, the lighter smoky slate. And 
just to get some shading going in. Try not to colour in that pot. <laughs> I do like to do blends work. I don't do it often enough. I think because I'm not not an impatient crafter, but I'm a fast crafter. Um, so yeah, so I forget. I kind of almost forget to remember to do it, but that's okay. Look at that little chunky cheeks there. I'm going to put a little bit of extra just here of this dark and then blend it round again and it's the faster you work with blends the the better you're going to get the shading and the contrast of color because I, I, I liken it to oh is that the right one no. I liken it sort of like self-leveling concrete or something like that all right what we'll color for the pot Just a little bit of a little bit of crumb cake why not we can pretend it's a terracotta pot, can't we? In not terracotta, but in crumb cake. <laughs> and then need a little bit, a little bit more work there. And then what colour? We're going to have a teeny dab of what's this? Granny apple green for that leaf. And well. Finish off the tips of the ears. I kind of, I think I'm going to leave the little muzzle white. So that's okay. Right. A couple of dimensionals on the back of this. Oh no, the little ones. I want big ones. Here we go. And pop it on the front. And I think that's really cute. I think it's really cute. This one, obviously, I've got a flower. It's a bit more floral. That one, I think, is super cute. And yeah, it's a gift box. It's a very sweet, shiny gift box with a little grey cat on the front. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I'm just going to bring that here. Just so you know where you can get everything. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.